Hey, Shalom, I'm giving all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Dash, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. He sincere, Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation Israel. Yeah, things are moving. Things are moving. You see the title, um, Alert. Uh, White House ordering some U.S. reserve forces to activate duty. Sound like they was activating everything they got when you hear this. We're going to play a little of this here. This is Jim Yacall. Um, You know, it's got to be watching, man. You know, uh, this came out about three hours ago. He's a, he's a, he's a prepper, you know, a Christian also. So, you know, you might hear some of his... Uh, you know, you may spit a, a Christian scripture towards the end. You know, these people don't know what's going on. You know, they know something is something serious is about to happen. We know the prophecies. You know, they're about to activate this MOTB. You know, the, the World Economic Forum came out earlier this week and said that we want to put that thing up under your skin. We know what they mean. So how are they going to push this thing with a lot of fear and desperation? Yes, they are. You know, it's going to bring forth Jacob's trouble. It's going to activate these camps. And they're going to use a lot of these military forces, the reserves, as well as other foreign forces to push these chipping stations, man. Just like the apostle said, they're going to guard these stations. They're going to guard these supermarkets. You won't be able to go into the markets. You won't be able to go into the laundromat. You won't be able to go outside without passing military checkpoints, without identifying yourself with some form of tag. Yeah, things are picking up this Friday while everybody waiting on that paycheck so they can go out and, and commit more folly, more sin. The prophecies are happening and a lot of people are about to be caught off guard in a state of panic and frustration, not knowing these prophecies, the signs of the time and the second coming of our Lord. So we're going to play a little bit of this, but let me just read the scripture. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 1. But other times and seasons, now like the apostle of um, Ramlab always states, you know, um, prophecy is dictated by time. So every day, every day you wake up, you're coming closer and closer to the end time prophecy. Okay, what consists of the MOTB, World War Three, and the second coming of our Lord and them things that they call UFOs. That's why they're everywhere. These are main prophecies here we're looking for. So these are the times and these are the seasons, the tokens that you watch for when you go into 2nd Edges 9, 2nd Edges 8, 2nd Edges 15, 2nd Edges 16, okay? But of the times and the seasons, what time are you in? What season are you in? Okay. Brethren, you have no need that I write unto you for yourselves know perfectly Perfectly, why? Because we understand these scriptures, we see it. Call Hello Yah Shah. So we don't need to be convinced by the event itself in front of us. We know the Lord has convicted us in our heart through our apostles, you know, uh, through the scriptures and the unction that the Lord has placed on certain men at this time. We're convinced perfectly that the day of Yahweh so cometh as a thief in the night. And what does that mean? A thief in the night catches you off guard when you're not looking. So our job is to keep watching so we're not caught off guard. And, pre and prepare, you know, prepare and hope and keep the faith until the end and only the Lord can do that. Gentlemen, Jim here from Storm Warning News. It is July 14, 2023 at 1.51 a.m. Eastern Time. I will begin this report by mentioning that there are still a high number of EAMs, emergency action messages being broadcast, uh, just like there were yesterday morning, and that points me right to this. Is this cause for... Oh, just one second. You heard what he said right there? There was, um, there was emergency code action codes that's uh, being broadcast you know over certain waves these are nuclear codes <clears throat> you know in case uh you know and they, they've been doing this lately 
and it's been picking up speed. You know, I'm surprised he's speaking about it. Well, actually, I'm not because, um, you know, that's real, real military talk there, you know, because there's a certain um, certain station that they broadcast from that you can hear them, you know, and it's for the nuclear subs. You know, and it's been picking up speed would let also let you know that, yes, yeah, something big is on its way. Concern as we have this published at whitehouse.gov ordering the selected reserve and certain members of the individual ready reserve of the armed forces to active duty. Let me run through this with you. Let's read together. By the authority vested in me as President of the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America, including Sections 121 and 12304 of Title 10, the United States Code, I hereby determine that it is necessary to augment the active armed forces of the United States for the effective conduct of Operation Atlantic Resolve in and around the United States European Command's area of responsibility and furtherance of this operation under the stated authority, I hereby authorize the Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of Homeland Security with respect to the Coast Guard when it is not operating as a service in the Navy under their respective jurisdictions to order to active duty any units and any individual members not assigned to a unit organized to serve as a unit of the selected reserve or any member in the individual ready reserve mobilization category and designated as essential under regulations prescribed by the secretary concerned not to exceed 3,000 total members at any one time of whom not more than 450 may be members of the individual ready reserve as they deem necessary and to terminate the service of those units and members ordered to active duty. This order is not intended to and does not create any right or benefit, substantive or procedural, enforceable at law or in equity by any party against the United States, its departments, agencies, or entities, its officers, employees, or agents, or any other person. This issued by Joseph R. Biden, Jr. So, ladies so yeah, and yeah, gentlemen... Right there. You know, so this, this went out yesterday... You know, he's reporting on it right now. This came out about uh, three hours ago. You know, you can uh, you can kind of just start allowing the scriptures, you know, to move at this time, <laughs> you know, with, 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 with these operations that we about to see. We know the Lord is about to remove the northern army, like Joel says, down to the Middle East. You best believe the draft is going to go out. They're not going to have enough soldiers to, to, to take over, you know, China, Russia, Iran, all at once, and then go down there to defend the Middle East, you know, because uh, something's about to pop off in Israel because Israel is saying they're not waiting any longer for America to jump in this thing with Iran. The tensions are high. The tensions are high with Iran right now. And we know the lease of the flock shall draw them out. So on this Friday, you see that they, they, they've been activated. You know, we talking about the Coast Guard. We, we some serious stuff has been activated. Now a lot of these uh, soldiers going to be sent out. A lot of these soldiers going to patrol the coast. The borders about to be locked down. Yeah, things about to speed up, man. These prophecies about to take off. Okay, let me just finish reading this. You know, in a, in a matter of fact, let me let me let me get it in a. Uh, Excuse me one second. Let me get it in NLT real quick. New Living Translation. So, uh, time is short. Time is short. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1 NLT. This is on the uh, right-hand side. Now, concerning how and when all this will happen, <clears throat> dear brothers and sisters, we don't really need to write you, for you know quite well that the day of Yahweh's return will come unexpectedly like a thief in the night 
when people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, and you got a lot of false prophets saying this too, a lot of false prophets, man, pulling off the skin and the hair from the people, man. Talking about everything is peaceful, everything's secure. You know, you just got a better job. You know, go on vacation. People talk about vacationing. You know, they out here buying homes, buying cars. Now we saying stop living. No, you know, you gotta get out here and use the world, but don't abuse it. You know, Jake gonna go overboard with abuse of this world, to where they ain't looking at nothing, and that's why it's called Jacob's trouble. Jake gonna get hurt, man. Jake gonna get hurt. So it says, uh, third verse again, when people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, then disaster will fall on them as suddenly as a pregnant woman's labor pains begin. And you know, that's unexpectedly when uh, that water breaks. And there will be no escape, man. They're going to be trapped off wherever you at. This is a certain time you shouldn't be traveling. You know, you do what you want to do. Well, if you're jumping on a plane, you're going to Puerto Rico, you're going down here to DR, you're leaving the country. I mean, hey, it's, you might have a job and moving you around. You know, you stay prayed up, you know. But this ain't the time to be moving around like that, man. Because these lockdowns going to happen. You're going to be locked down right where you at. We on high alert. We don't know where this thing going to happen at. You know, what time is happening. But we know when you hear stuff like this, this is when all your spiritual antennas start popping up, man. And at the same time, you're getting your house in order, which is your spirit, your body. This is a lot of time for fast prayer and meditation and sitting still right now, man. Sit your behind still. So it says, uh, but you aren't in the dark about these things, dear brothers and sisters. And you won't be surprised when the day of the of Yahweh comes like a thief. Why? Because it's, the Lord, the Spirit, God is constantly watching all kind of times of night, day. This thing don't stop for the whole full elect. You know, when you're nervous about something, you know, you up watching. When there's a thief coming to your house and someone threatens your home and your peace, you don't go on vacation when someone's sending a threat to your home. You up, you prepared to fight and defend. And we're prepared to do that through the spirit, but you're on high alert. You're sleeping with one eye open. And that's the men of the Lord at this time. Uh, fifth verse, for you are all children of the light. And the Lord said, let our light shine. And our main light is Yahusha. Yahusha, boom, he turned our lights on. Meaning he activated the men of the Lord. So you want to stay activated with the illuminated ones, the Lucifers, the light bearers. And that light is Yahusha. And the Lord said, well, when you lift them up, you will draw all men to you. We lifting up Yahusha. We keep him first because that's, what, that's what's happening. He's on his way. All this is leading up to the second coming of our Lord, Yahusha HaMashiach. And he's coming back with fire. I mean, the Lord ain't playing. So these swords, this, these bombs are being sharpened. This MOT is being sharpened. They playing around with this MOTB, man. This thing ain't no, it'd be no joke. We talking about, look, y'all playing around with this thing and you holding on to Great Babylon, your job on the line, your food on the line, your cars on the line, your security and your safety of Babylon is on the line. So that's why you're going to, end up taking the MOTB because you are secure. You are safe. You're not on high alert. Man, you want the spirit to keep you hot at this time, man, and that requires fear. It says, um, uh, uh, I read that, six verse. So be on your guard. See that? That's clear right there. That's clear. When you guard something, you, you up, you protecting it. Uh, the main guard is your spirit, man. Making sure your spirit is clean. Making sure you're sincere. You got the doctrine right. Akiya I mean, ain't checking out the doctrine. Ain't out there teaching anything. You got half the truths. You're going to wait till the actual MOTB hit. Then you're going to go into it and this and that. No. No, you're supposed to be on guard right now, man. So be on your guard. Not asleep like others. That's clear. Stay alert and be clear-headed. That's that sober mind. Spiritually clear-headed, man. Yeah, brothers walking around with a damn dark cloud around their head. 
You know, and you're supposed to have the light of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and you walking around in darkness like the people in the world. they spiritually dead. And this thing going to pick up, and they're going to be looking for answers, and the answer's going to depart because it's going to be too dangerous to be out there on them streets. And hey, they're going to wipe YouTube videos like this, man. Hasta la vista. So you get this while you can. Night is the time when people sleep. And drunkards get drunk. But let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armor of faith and love. That's the armor of the Lord, Ephesians 6. And wearing as our helmet the confidence of salvation. For Yahweh chose to save us, meaning he put the unction on us through our Lord Yahweh Shaham Mashiach, not to pour out his anger on us, and that's what they're about to see, the fierce wrath of the Lord. The Lord has sharpened these bombs, which is his sword. The Lord mustereth up this battle. The great indignation of the Lord is here. These people in the world think they're going to get away with what they're doing. You think there ain't going to be no penalty for everything you're doing? You're sadly mistaken. You're about to be judged, man. But the Lord has set aside his election so that you won't feel that wrath. That's why the scriptures say, coming thou into thy chambers and hide thyself. That's that being beamed up process, man. Come up hither. You know, the protection, the hedge. When Jacob trouble hit, he got hundreds of angels around you and yours, protecting yours while everybody else going through the hell. So when somebody's giving you that type of gift, man, you take that serious. But we got, this is serious business, man. For Yahweh chose to save us through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, not to pour out his anger on us. Yahweh Shah died for us so that whether we are dead or alive, when he returns, and that's the righteous that die in the Lord, we can live with him forever. And that's what it's about. But, uh, but everybody else, hey, this world is for uh, many, but the world to come is for few. Let me listen to a little more of this to see what you got. I ask you, what do you think this means? This is not a decla declaration of the reinstitution of the draft. But the draft no. is coming. Yeah, you know the draft is coming because, uh, what is that, a year and a half ago, Biden signed, you know, a bill that allowed all women of America to be, that they, they can be drafted. So you know that's coming. You know that draft is coming. But again, this centers around the conduct of Operation Atlantic Resolve. And from what I can glean from this, this is pulling members of the Coast Guard into active duty around the coastlines of the United States of America. As I interpret this, this does seem in all of its jargon, all of its uh, relative legal ease here, this seems a uh, very serious and significant. Again, this reminds me of a preparation for war. This is an increase in the members of the active duty military. Again, ordering the selected reserve and certain members of the individual ready reserve of the armed forces to active duty. Wars and rumors of wars and some will say oh Jim. This is nothing. It doesn't mean anything and perhaps that is the case But this to me considering the climate everything going on in the world right now With NATO crane Russia with the growing Chinese threat with the concerns about our coastlines uh, Russian hypersonic missiles uh, potentially Russian nuclear subs being off the Atlantic coast of the U.S. All of these things we hear and see, this for me does set off alarm bells. And again, be mentally, physically, spiritually, through the power of the Holy Spirit, emotionally and psychologically prepared for anything. Please yeah, thanks, comment. Yeah. I'm going to end it right there. Let me... One more uh, script here. Yeah. Things are popping off. It's Friday. You get up, man.
go to work. This is uh, Revelations 11, verse 14. The second terror is past. But look, the third terror is coming quickly. The second woe, which is World War II, is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And that we see that coming upon the earth. Second Ezra 13, man. Upon the third world's war, our Lord shows up, man. Our Lord shows up. And this thing yeah, is going to be scary. It's going to be off the hook. You know, just the way the Lord said it's going to be. And man, going to be looking for that protection. It ain't going to be none there. They played with this thing. This is 1 Peter 4 and 7. The end of the world is coming soon. The end of whose world? Esau's world, man. Yep. The Lord about to sew this thing up for Brother Man E. You know? This is, um... Where's my, um, I don't use this phone here too much, so I don't know if I got my, my where's my app at up here? I, I, this phone here, I don't use too often, so I don't see my app up here for it. I thought I did. Okay, here it is. Oh, all right. As you can see, I don't use this phone, so it's loading, but... I'm going to read this again. This is 1 Peter 4 and 7. The end of the world. I just wanted to show you what world that's talking about. This is talking about the Edomites' age. You know, every empire had an age. Uh, the, 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 the Persian, the, Babil the, the Babylonians, the Persians, the Greeks, Rome, the fall of Rome. Then you had uh, the Dark Ages, you know, when, when, when Jake was ruling up there in Europe. That had a time period. Then that had a fall. Then you had the slave trade. That had a time period. Then you had the, the new Rome that was built, which is the image here, America. And this has a time period and it's falling. But what comes next? That's why you need to know the prophecies. And to miss all these kings, man, our Lord shows up. So this current world, which is we talking about more in the age, in the eon sense. Not the not the Orchimini, the earth, the hard rock. You know, but the age, this age, this time period is changing. We're in a changing of the worlds because our Lord is about to set up the kingdom. Let me see if that app downloaded. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you what 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 what, what world. This is real quick. Uh have to track me. This is second Ezra. Six nine. Close. It says for Esau, which is the so-called white man, this is a time to rule. When you go back to Genesis, he was given a sword. And it was a time to use that sword when you go into Revelations, the sixth chapter. That red horse had a sword to bring that death, destruction, all that to the earth. You know, and that's what Esau's been doing when the Lord set him up, with, starting with the Greeks. Wickedness was multiplied in the earth. For Esau is the end of the world. See, the, 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 the dark side... From the fall of Adam, you know, there was going to be a ruler at the end when the Lord come to clean up the fall, the death of the gods is being cleaned up. And at the end, Esau will be holding the bag, man. Esau, you're in rulership upon our Lord's return. That's what we in. All this is leading up to our Lord's return. That's what that's what it's about. Not just a war. Then everything goes back to normal and you stay in authority. No. The Lord is removing all Edomites out of authority from Europe to Africa over here to the Americas. The one third of man is being removed from planet Earth, period. And the gods of the Earth, you so-called Negroes and Hispanics and Native Indians are the Israelites. We're being established as the new leaders, the rulers of planet Earth, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. OK, so it says for Esau is the end of this world and Jacob. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and, uh, and, and, and blacks is the beginning of it that follow it. So it's going to be another world that follows the, this fall here. So the end of the world is come. The end of your world, you top elites, is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Meaning, kiss the sun nah, while you can. Get closer to Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Have that personal relationship right now because the supping of the Lord is all we're going to have. 
These phones are going to get cut off. These lights, you don't know where you're going to be at. You find yourself alone. Ain't going to be no brothers to comfort you, to make you feel good. Ain't going to be no sisters around you. You may be separated from your family. You better make sure that you're letting your family know. We on high alert. Things are picking up. You can be anywhere when this thing go down because life goes on. We got to get out here and move. Wherever it happened, let the spirit of the Lord rest in you. Know the spirit of the Lord covers the earth. So no matter where you at, the spirit of the Lord is within you. If you of his men, you're going to be good. You're going to be good all the way through this whole thing. But yes, things are picking up. It's about to get real aggressive out here. So I want to give all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kahak Dash, Shalom.